Go, Zaza, go. Hi, car. What are you doing here? Oh, go give it to Sobel. Go tell him. What do you say, Zaza? Oh, look at that. He just, he just said it. He just said it a second ago. He missed it. What did you give him, Zaza? What did you give him? What'd you give me? What do you say? Party. Birthday party? <laughs> Thank you, baby. Dude, he's modeling, yo. He's modeling. Yo, what's going on here? Say yeah, hi. Say yeah. hi. Yeah. Hey, she knows the cat. Yeah. There you go. The fork. Yeah. What the fork? Yeah. You want to eat the fork? Soda from the kid. Do not give myself. them soda. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's your. Don't give my daughter soda. You give him soda. Yeah. Don't give Carly yeah. soda. Yeah. He's not gonna swallow. Might as well let him chew it out. Yeah. Hey. 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 What? Give him that meat. Yeah. Give him the. Fuck. <laughs> So the crazy ass volunteer to watch these two monsters. Rugrats right here. That's Tommy. What's it, Tommy Pickle and Dill Pickle? <laughs> yeah. Did I tell you not to kill her? Freaking juice or soda? No, I'm not gonna try to Dude, man. Oh, you want chicken? I'm gonna give this guy, I'm gonna give this guy a monster, yo. Chicken. <laughs> Oh yeah. This is Ben at his attempt to show off that he sucks at Call of Duty. I do suck, bro. What the fuck? Look at you. Right there. Come on. Come on, let's go. Three rows. I just came back from U-Haul. Picked up this big ass U-Haul truck. I felt like a fucking monster on the road. It's a U-Haul truck. Anyways, as you can tell, my place is a fucking mess. Look at that. So been shit laying around everywhere. And then I gave him half my closet right here. Alright, maybe not half, but a shit ton of clothes that I don't wear because they're all XLs now. There's my box of equilibriums if you guys want one. Check out the living room. It's so empty. This would be a quite an epic battle. You would get me on weight and strength. Yeah, there would definitely be no battle. It'd be fucking. Oh, but skill. I'd put my hands on you. Skill and strength. Fold your ass in half like a fucking fold up book. Like a mat. I'd fold you like a mat. And I'd put you in my pocket and walk out the door. He's lucky, he's big. I'll just go after your junk. Big ass U Haul truck. Hailing from. Arizona! Thank you, Arizona, for providing me with a nice U Haul truck. Fit my whole shit in there. Nice! That's from the table. Because it got rained on and the paint started coming off. All right, right now I've got a little crazed on the line with me. And first of all, hey, I'd like to congratulate you on your recent album and thank you for taking time out of your, I know it's a crazy busy schedule you got going on. And join me and your fans, more importantly, on KRC tonight for Judicide New Music Monday. You know, thank you very much. I appreciate that. It was a lot of hard work, but, you know, all the fans helped me do this and, and uh, this hometown love. Finally being able to, being interviewed on KRC right now. Is oh, absolutely, blessing. man. If I can help you out here in the local station, why not? Exactly. That's exactly it. All right. So, Lil Craze, first up, how did your album Equilibrium come about and exactly how well has it done so far? 
You know, it, really, the album, it's a prequel to an album that I was working on a couple of years ago called Static. It's still in the works now, but we felt the need to give the fans something to listen to until the Static album is actually complete. It actually peaked at number five top hip-hop album in the U.S. on iTunes and remained in the top ten for the first three days it was released. To be able to accomplish a goal like that as an Asian-American hip-hop artist or even an unsigned artist, nonetheless, is like a feeling that you just cannot describe in words. Oh, yeah, number five isn't anything to sneeze at, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, your fans love you, and we're not going to keep them waiting much longer. So, here's tonight's due to side from Little Craze called Fading Away. It's on 106.9 KROC. Hey, man, we need to sub. You know, it's like, I don't understand how something. Woo, so good. fading away. It's so bad. I mean, they say that what goes up must come down, but I never thought that would ever apply to us at all. I guess I was wrong. All love is fading, fading. I want to give it a smash. Why smash? Because the tune is awesome and I like the lyrics. And it's really cool that he's from here in Rochester. Hey, what's up? Do decide. Um, I want to do a great, a great song. What'd you love about it? Um, everything. Everything is I loved about it. I know everything sounds great, but uh, let's be specific <laughs> here because uh, a little crazy well, wants to know. Um, well, he tells a true story with it, and he's a great art artist, and that's uh, what we like to see in our hometown of Rochester. K R O C. Hey, hey what's up? Price, we give it a ten. A ten from you guys. Yeah, chest, you can tell you're enthusiastic. Why'd you guys like it? Because we love Alex. We love Little Craze, and I found it really good. It was bomb. So far, so good for Little Crazed. Fading away, it's tonight's due to side. Oh, I rate it a 10. Perfect score from you. Tell us why. I don't know. I just love Little Craze. He's pretty awesome. And you like the song? Yeah. Good song selection from that album? Mm-hmm. Hi, Kiara C. Hi. Hey, what's up? I just wanted to give that song a 10. All right. So far, so good. Why is that? Um, It was just a really good beat and everything, good lyrics, and he's from Rochester, so you can't go wrong. K-R-O-C. Hey, I just wanted to put out a little request for the Alex um, Little Crease Okay, song. what's that? I think it's a 10, and I know him and everything, so I think he does really good at what he does. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah, okay, hopefully he knows what Sarah he's talking about. Well, thanks again for chilling us tonight on Today's Best Music, KROC, one of your home stations, and especially sharing your music on Do Decide New Music Monday. Well, thank you, Scotty. I really do appreciate you taking time to do this with me. Uh, it feels good to finally get some home some support, you know.